What's going on guys? Gonna have ourselves another little let's chat session. Um, what I'm gonna be talking about today is old. It actually happened in 2011, but it's kind of relevant because, you know, it, it kind of pertains to my future and what I'm gonna be going to school for and it shows exactly how corrupted the system is, you know what I mean? Um, basically, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Uh, to the article that I'm going to be talking about. Um, basically, back in 2011, a woman went to court. It was just a routine like divorce court that her ex-husband had filed against her to do with a restraining order. However, he didn't show up, so it got dropped. But that's not the issue. The issue is, um, as she was leaving the courthouse, the marshal at the courthouse ordered her into a room and told her that she ne he needed to search her for drugs. I don't know what probable cause they had for these drugs, but she had a two-year-old daughter with her, and in the video, if you watch it, you can hear her daughter screaming, leave my mommy alone, leave her alone, don't take my mommy. You know, yeah, I mean, it's fucked up. Um, basically, she, uh, she went to family court. She was in the courtroom only a few minutes on a routine divorce case. Her husband filed a temporary restraining order against her during their divorce. He never showed up in court, so the order was denied. Um, according to internal court documents, as Contreras was leaving, family court marshal Ron Fox ordered her into a waiting room for an unexplained drug search. Let's stop right there. An unexplained drug search. That's illegal. You, you have to at least tell them the probable cause you have for searching them. And if they don't consent to the search, first of all, it was a man who searched a female. Um, I live in Indiana, and I'm sure this applies everywhere, but men don't search women, women don't search men. If you pull somebody over, and you have probable cause to search them, and there's a female present, you have to call a female officer to search the female. That's just how it works. She told him multiple times she didn't want to do it without a witness present, and he did it anyway. He grabbed her ass, he felt her boobs, he told her to lift up her shirt, um, basically no probable cause or anything. So then she comes back into the courtroom, explain to the judge what had happened, and he tells her, take back what you said, come to the microphone and say that you were lying, or I'm going to arrest you and take your child away from you. So after a minute, you know, she's arguing, they're trying to arrest her. She says, all right, all right, it's all lies, I'm sorry, everything I said was a lie. So they tell her to go to the microphone and basically redact what she had said. But instead of doing that, she goes to the microphone and tries to appeal to the judge and explain everything again, saying he felt her out without a witness present. She didn't want to search. She didn't consent. She wanted a female officer. And the judge just turns around, ignores her as she's talking. The marshal tells the officer to arrest her. And as they're putting her in handcuffs, the judge starts playing with her daughter, completely ignoring the screams and, you know, the plea for help from this woman. Um, it's complete bullshit, and <laughs> I'm considering law school. I'm thinking about going to law school. Um, I'm telling you right now, if I was an attorney, I would represent this woman for free. Absolute no charge, because she ended up going to jail for two months. Her child was taken away from her for two months before any justice w was served, you know, before any investigation was done. She sat in jail for like two months. And regardless of the settlement she got, because like I said, it is old, she did get some justice. It did settle, but she still went to jail for two months. You know, and it's complete bullshit. It makes no sense. It shows exactly how corrupted the system is. It shows exactly the kind of people that, you know, are supposed to uphold our law. And they're absolute clowns. Complete clowns. That's exactly what they are. Uh, let's see here. Contreras said Fox, or yeah, Fox touched her buttocks, breast, and ordered her to lift up her shirt. A later internal investigation by Clark County Courts validated her claims. Contreras went back into the same courtroom and told hearing master Patricia Doniger that her request to have a female marshal handle a search were ignored. Wow. I mean, 
there it is you know there's also a video you can hear her saying everything you can see exactly how little the judge cared didn't even pay her attention you know and it's sad because yes she did get a settlement yes everything was settled and it got taken care of just as was served in a way but it was too late for that she went to jail for two months her child taken away from her it's complete bullshit I don't know how you know knowing that there are cameras in that courtroom the guy was a marshal for Christ's sake so he knows the laws he should anyway he should have known there were cameras in there which I guarantee you he did and they didn't even give a shit and this isn't the first case of this apparently this is a very common thing of officers giving bullshit accusations of drug searches to fill up females and shit it's complete bullshit complete bullshit and uh, by the way this gameplay is pretty fucking awesome I didn't even care about my KD I was just running around reviving everybody like a fucking madman I love this game Battlefield 4 is so fucking awesome anyways off topic let's see after it repeated attempts by the marshals to get Contreras to recant her story she breaks down let me go it was all lies I don't want to deal with anything it was all lies all lies all lies all lies please stop she said Fox tells Contreras the only way she can avoid jail is to step up to the microphone and recant Contreras agrees but does the opposite you put me in a room you asked me to lift up my shirt without a witness Contreras said into the microphone at that point Fox replied okay take her to jail for four minutes, Contreras pleaded to hearing master Patricia Doniger to listen to it, but Doniger never acknowledged Contreras. Instead, she talked and played with Contreras' daughter. How can you do this to me? How can you watch? Contreras pleaded. Contreras kisses her daughter before being sent to jail. Her young daughter was sent to Child Haven two months later. Contreras filed a complaint with the court martial internal affairs. Two months later. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say to that. Like, how can this much neglect happen in a courtroom with multiple cameras, multiple officers, and a goddamn marshal? Honestly. There is no reason whatsoever that this should have happened. And like I said, it's not the only instance. This happens all the time, according to this uh, article. I... <laughs> I'm in a loss for words right now. Take a look at the article, it's in the description. Um, wow. Honestly, wow. I don't even know what to say. And like I said, if, <laughs> if I was a lawyer right now, I wouldn't charge this woman a thing. Not a damn thing. She went through enough. I mean, honestly. It <laughs> Check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you liked the video, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. Talk to you guys later.